and gentlemen. Yerotai v'avotai, ערב טוב. ברוכים הבאים לאחד האתרים ההיסטוריים המיוחדים והיפים בירושלים ובעולם כולו, מגדל דוד. Welcome to the beautiful Tower of David, a place in which history comes to life. This old fort has witnessed many, many stories, but the one we are about to tell is the most loving and exciting one. And the reason we're all here is the story of the spark and the triumph of our people. Now you've already enjoyed the beautiful music of the Jerusalem Conservatory of Music and Arts, a Sadna band whose members are only between the ages of 13 and 18 years old. Let's give them a warm round of applause. They deserve it. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our evening continues atop the beautiful Mount Scopus with the Jerusalem Encore Choir. Thank you to the Encore Choir and Hasadna Band for a great opening to a truly special evening. And now I'd like to officially open the evening and say good evening to all of our esteemed guests, members of Knesset, the mayor of our host city, the Honorable Mr. Neil Barkat, and the council members of the city of Jerusalem, leaders of Maccabi World Union and the Maccabiah, friends and supporters of the Maccabi World Union and the Maccabiah, friends and supporters of Jerusalem, and our dear guests. My name is Michael Harmaz, and I will be your host this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, tonight is about the connection between the Maccabiah and Jerusalem. Jerusalem as the heart of the Maccabiah. Our story this evening has two heroes. The first is Jerusalem, the eternal capital of Israel a spiritual center, a 
Jewish people. As it says in the book of Micah, or out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Nowadays, Jerusalem is a city with a new pulse, new horizons, and a new beat. The second hero in our story is, of course, the Maccabiya, the Maccabi World Union's largest and most famous enterprise, which takes place every four years in Israel and is the world's largest Jewish athletic competition. The Jewish Olympics, as they are often called, a fine example of a new Jewish spirit. And together, the Maccabiyah and Jerusalem are a perfect example of body and soul. It was in 1950, during the third Maccabiyah, after the end of the Second World War, that Prime Minister David Ben-Gurion said in his speech at the opening ceremonies, Existence in our ancestral home requires physical might, no less than intellectual excellence. And tonight, here, we celebrate the new home of the Maccabiyah, Jerusalem. Now I'm honored to invite to the stage the Minister of Housing Construction, Mr. Uli Ariel, to say a few words for us.